Let us take some problems on equilibrium. Let us see what is given here. A ball weighing 150 Newton is suspended vertically by a string attached to a ceiling. Full stop. Find the magnitude of force which is which should be applied horizontally, which will make the string inclined at 120 degree to the direction of force. Full stop. Also determine the tension in the string. Now they have mentioned some conditions in the question with the help of these conditions we would be writing the data because that conditions will help us to draw the diagram question number one on equilibrium they had given that we have a ceiling here over that ceiling we are having a string which is attached then in the second case they have said this string is pulled it is being pulled so if i can give you the diagram it is like this the string is pulled and at the end of a string we have a load or a ball attached whose weight is 150 newton i can say that this is the w and that w is equal to 150 Newton. So again, I'll read the question. A ball weighing 150 Newton, it is 150 Newton, is suspended vertically by a string attached to a ceiling. From a ceiling, there is a string attached. This string was initially straight, it was vertical. So Find the magnitude of force which should be applied horizontally, which will make the string inclined at 120 degree to the direction of force. Here we are applying horizontal force to the string, which is making 120 degree with the horizontal, means the string is inclined at 120 degree to the horizontal. Also determine the tension in the string means we have to calculate find the magnitude of force which should be applied horizontally. We have to calculate the value of P the first question and the second question is here we have to calculate the tension in the string since load is applied because of the load there will be tension at the same time we are pulling the string so because of that also there will be tension. So now after this diagram is completed, we can easily start solving this problem. How to solve this? Tension I'll denote it by letter T. I'll write down first solution. Drawing FBD. Now what is FBD? FBD is called as free body diagram. Drawing free body diagram for given problem if we draw the fbd fbd means we have to replace this ceiling so we can replace the ceiling force p is applied horizontally weight is acting downward since you are pulling this string or you can say rope this string or rope is being pulled so because of that, there will be tension in this rope denoted by letter T. Here we have to calculate the value of tension in the string and effort P or load which is applied. Now inclination is given. This inclination is 120 degree. Angle between load and horizontal force that is 90 degree. So if this is 120, this is 90. You can add them that will give you 210 so the remaining angle becomes 150 degree 150 so it means here we have three concurrent coplanar forces at the same time angle between them is known so we can apply Lamy's theorem here i will be writing by Lamy's theorem since if i am taking for example capital T so it will be capital T upon I will write down sine of sine of angle between P and W because as per Lamy's theorem if we are taking a force 
then we have to take the angle between the other two forces so here i have sin 90 angle between p and w if i take p in the denominator i should write the sign between t and w which is sin 150 degree if i take w i will have to write the angle between t and p which is 120 degree so here is my equation of lamis theorem now we can use this at a time to calculate the value of t and p first i will be writing t sin 90 is equal to w sin 120 I'll write this as since T sin 90 is equal to W sin 120. I want to calculate T here, so I'll keep T on one side. Therefore, T is equal to W sin 120 multiplied by sin 90. Therefore, I am shifting sin 90 on the other side. So it is W upon sin 120. W value is 150 Newton. So this will be 150 upon sin 120 into sin 90. So if I calculate this, I will get my answer of T, which I am getting it as 173.2 Newton. my first answer now for the second answer which is I want to calculate after T after getting the tension in the string now I can calculate the value of horizontal load P I would be using P sine 150 upon W W divided by sine 120 so this will be P sine 150 that's equal to W upon sine 120. So therefore, I want to calculate P. It will be W sine 120 into sine 150. Hence, P is equal to W. The value of W is 150 upon sine 120 into sine 150. Hence, my answer of P that comes out to be 86.6 Newton. This is my second answer. So, if we see in the question, two things were asked. First, to calculate the tension in the string, which we have got 173.2 Newton. Second, the value of horizontal load applied, that is 86.6 Newton. We have completed the first problem.